This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Voldemort back here with another episode of Onimusha Warlords Remastered. In the last episode, we finished dealing with the Dark Realm and got the uh, Bishonin, or Bishonin, whatever, uh, um, uh, flute or whatever it is. We don't know what it does yet, but we will eventually here in a moment. But uh, before that, let me finish off this wacko D-bag. Get rid of you. I think the heavy sword is works best against him just because of how much damage it does. But uh, anyway, we got that. Um, and we've pretty much done everything we can with the game. So after we get to that, it's going back. It's to the end. No going back from what I remember. I kind of remember this last part. The only thing I'm missing, sadly, let me show you, is the fluorite. Where, where is that at? Uh, 19, folks. I am missing one. There's 20 of them in the game, and I'm missing one. And unfortunately... The demon world where we're going to pretty much just goes to the end for the most part. There's no fluorite there, so I missed one. Either it was either in the second or third uh, floor of this building, or it was during the Kaede part that only she can get to. It's hard to say one of the two. I missed it, and unfortunately, that's it. I can't get anywhere. That's it. That's it. So yeah, unfortunately, I'd have to play through the game or go to an old save point and get to it. So uh, hopefully, it's something. What? There's another. Well, oh, I just gotta go in. But anyway, at some... Oh, I guess... I thought I was going to straight go to the cutscene. But anyway, unfortunately, I can't show off... I know what it does now, now that I remember. But I might make like a... Maybe like pull up an old save somewhere or do it off screen. And maybe do it as a bonus episode showing what you get when you get all the fluorite. But, uh, oh well, we'll just have to beat the game as is and just accept that I missed one. But, oh well. What can you do? I bet it was in the main building like before it got destroyed. But I didn't get a chance to go back and do that but now that I know what I can do I can just go through it and, and get all that stuff anyway but all right let's open this thing and save Yumi Maro and Yuki find a way to break through since oh right I have to use this I assume I have to use it as an item so all right Pathetic human world. Impressive, Impressive you've come this far, but ultimately futile since your journey ends here. Only demons can enter. You. Why don't you go back to playing with your worthless little toys? I have no time for you. What did you say? How dare you? A mere human mock me? Father, it's time for you to fight my greatest creation. Come on, servants! Alright, it's boss time against Marcellus. Ooh, looks like he's already starting off pretty pretty heinous already, so oop, he got a double attack on me, so. Oh, come on, really? That hurts me? Or... Okay, so looks like this guy's all about kinda of... Ah, I thought I was blocking still. Ah, come on! Just gotta get past the shield or something like that. Oh, it, it wouldn't even let me... Oh, it was considered blocking, I guess, even though. Alright, well. Not a good start. Or <sighs> Not taking unnecessary damage. Ah, come on. Yeah, he's one of those guys that will can bust through your... Um, nice. Okay, got a new weapon now. 
I need to switch my attacks. I have to go with uh, this weapon, maybe. Whoa! Okay, cool. I can handle it. Yeah, it's pretty fast. Oh, nuts. Ah, man. I had to... You know, most of the bosses I never had to use a heal against yet. I have to use one against him, maybe. Ah, goddamn. Ah, fuck. Alright. I have to use a medicine. Man. Well, I guess I just got so used to just... Just like, at some point, I'm just like, fine, whatever. I'll just use medicine, even though I was trying not to. You know? but, but after doing the dark round, it's just like, nah, there's no way around that. Oops. If you can, I wonder if you can dark strike or uh, deadly strike any of these bosses. I assume each of his forms probably has a more effective, like, um, like weapon that works against them. Like, I doubt the, uh, I doubt the heavy sword works against them just because, you know. Didn't get the block in. Damn! If he gets you, he get, he does a bunch of damage if he if he starts comboing you, man. Just hopefully you're hopefully you're. Uh... There we go. Got him. I took a lot more damage than I should have though. At least you dropped some life. Hmm. Yeah, let's grab that treasure chest before we leave. Medicine, yay. <laughs> it's like the game knew you were going to take a bunch of damage if you hadn't done this before, so. Alright, on to the next area. Alright, Fort and Bross, I've defeated your dude. The wall here is made of a different material. Is there something behind it? Hmm. Oh, okay. Wait, I think I know what I need to do. Oh, there's a safe spot here. I assume that's the end right there. Ooh. Map! The final map. Nice. I thought that would be in here. Never lost. Never alone. Alright, let's see what this says. So, yeah. So, how do we get past this door? There's no other way to go. We could keep going forward. Or, I think I have, a, I think I have an idea. Where is it? There it is. Haha! -ha. It's because it looks just like the... Uh, That wasn't creepy. It was like there were hands or some or fingers or whatever like that. But uh, yeah, if we blow because it looks just like the material of this place, so it makes sense to use that. So, whoa, what is that? Like a skeleton with a sword in it? Man, that's almost some Geiger level stuff there, or Geiger. <laughs> what? And then he just takes it. You got. We get the Bishimon sword. Ah, the most powerful weapon in the game. The work. The the work of getting, going through the dark realm to get this. Unfortunately, all it's used for is for the final bit of the game. Now, one of the benefits of this is that, is that uh, this sword, uh, has its own magic that you can that never runs out. So you can always do, this like the whole time, which is cool. Out. So, I mean, there's definitely worth using the other weapons, but, uh, but yeah, it's definitely, I mean, it really not doesn't take that long to get the, the Bishimon flute anyway, so it's not like, it's not like, uh, it's not like it takes, doesn't take that long to do it anyway, so why not, right? Unless you're trying to go for beating it under three hours or trying to get the best score, then I would say, okay, um, was that anything? No, okay. Let's just keep going down, but yeah, we should be able to final boss should be a little bit easier now that we have something that has infinite magic on it. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Uh-uh. Not doing it. Not getting me. Not getting me with my infinite magic. My infinite power. Ooh. Ah. E. Ooh. No. Um. Uh, I wouldn't say it makes the game ton easier, but definitely with it doing extra damage than, than your main weapons. And in fact, it has infinite magic or infinite uses of the heavy attack. 
If you look online, it's either magic or heavy attack is what uh, triangle is, so I don't know. Look, that it took him out instantly. All right, we got medicine. And come on. And medicine. Cool. Yeah, it's just basically preparing us for the final final battle, so. I think this is it. No! <laughs> I am Fortune Bra. It's final boss time against Fort Bros. I think I swore the scientist was Fort Bros, but I guess not, so. Alright, gotta watch out for his uh, different attacks and everything with that. Yeah, he's just a big snake thing. He's the king of demons, which is. Yeah, uh, having the. Uh, having the uh, uh, ah, Bishi. Oh, well, okay, I might take some damage here. I don't think pressing buttons is really helping here, because I'm taking, like, squeezing damage and then he's gonna burn. Okay, am I supposed to get insta killed here? Okay, I'm not dead, but... Or I got insta-killed. Okay. Cool. Thanks, game, for insta-killing me. Huh. So apparently if you get, like, snatched by him or whatever, it insta-kills you. Wow, that was kind of bullshit, actually. Huh. Well, alright. I guess I ended up having to use a talisman in the last fight because I didn't know he had an insta-kill on me. I said the boss was easier, but since he did that, I don't know, man. Oh, well. Okay, I didn't need to take that damage. I could have... Oh, no. Oh, I thought he was going to... Yeah, might as well heal, I guess. I'm kind of... Uh, sad thing is I'm kind of browbeating this fight now. Like, there's a way to do it without, like, taking hardly any damage and all this other stuff, but... But I'm uh, just running in there, just using the Bishimon sword. Just spamming magic. Um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I don't. From what I remember, I don't remember Fortin Bros being quite memorable as a as a as a final antagonist. Because I mean, it's not like he's antagonizing you the whole game anyway. It's a scientist and all of his minions, so he just kind of comes out of here starts doing all this, and then, uh, whoops. There we go. Samanosuke! Kaede, let's get out of here. Samanosuke! I'm fine. We cannot stay here any longer. Run! You can't. Kaede, 
Rescue me. Maru. The demon's ambitions were shattered by the hand of Samanosuke and his friends. However, when Yoshitatsu Saito died the following year, his feeble-minded son, Tatsuoki, became the Lord. At that time, Oda's army returned to Mino province and conquered the Inabayama castle, putting an end to the history of the Saito family. However, it is unknown as to whether demons were involved. After the downfall of the Saito family, Princess Yuki went to stay with a family friend, the Baron in Sakai province. His name? Sokyu Imai. However, in less than a month, she would leave. With Sokyu's blessing, she left in a ship to see the world. On Samanosuke's advice, Yumemaru accompanied her on this journey. On the other hand, Kaede desperately searched for the missing Samanosuke, but never found him. In the following year, Mitsuhide Akechi employed her as his agent. She continued her job until she died 14 years later in a war at Yamazaki province. As for Samanosuke, no one knows what happened to him. And thus we... Keiji Inafune was the producer? Huh, same guy who worked on Mega Man and stuff like that. Anyway, yep, that's the end of the game. Man, what a ride. Yeah, unfortunately with me getting the Bishimon Blade made the final fight a bit... A bit silly, you know. Yeah, I did get insta-killed there, but for the most part, I just basically just... just you span my attack and all that, so yeah, it kind of it kind of makes the final fight a bit of a joke when you get the Bishamon Blade. But you do have to go through the Dark Realm fighting all these things, you know, just to get to it. So probably if you use your regular weapons, you probably have to you know more pay attention, or if you're not trying to take a lot of damage, you know, make sure to strike, defend, and dodge and uh, his thing. But yeah, I kind of can't believe I got hit with that insta kill. That was kind of BS there. But oh well, what can you do? And I had I had to. Uh, you know talismans and everything like that but yeah it was a fun game i i, I you know i didn't th i mean i didn't think it would be much different because i remember enjoying it when i when i played it a long time ago now the reason it's a remaster i don't know if i call it a great remaster i'm trying to there were some some graphical updates from the previous like some things were a little bit, a little bit slimmer but they used a lot of the old stuff old voice actors and everything like that and um i mean it's basically an okay remaster i wouldn't say it's great um because like you notice that sometimes some sound would cut off, or at least it, at least my copy. I don't know if maybe it's my recording, but like sounds would cut off at certain bits, and um, and a few other like graphical inconsistencies. Nothing major, uh, but I don't I don't know how much this game costs. So I don't know if it's worth it as a remaster. Obviously, if you don't have the PS2 game, you pretty much got no choice 
to play this if you want to try it out. Uh, but overall, as the game itself, overall I think the game's still pretty good. You know, it's a quick game, you know, th you know like three to six hours of how you're playing. Action, monsters get harder over the course as you learn to get your abilities. Different weapons with play styles. Now, I think in the second and third game, they kind of improve amongst the weapons and the comboing and stuff like that. Uh, but for a first game, it's not a bad, bad shot, you know. From you know, it's de definitely something to work towards in the future. That type of thing when they're getting out of it. Um, unfortunately, this game does end. Well, I guess we'll find it here in a second. But you can tell that there's a lot of things like missing from this game. Like when you when you play it, you're like, oh, yeah. Like what about Nobunaga Oda? You know, he's still around. You know, oh, someone else died, and the King of Demons is, is dead. But what about Hideyoshi Toy? Hideyoshi, like he was bugging us throughout the whole time, and then he kind of just disappears after a point after he captured us or whatever it was. So, but I mean, obviously, where there being uh, two and sequels, two and three, and then the fourth game. Uh, you can tell that this is not the only game, um, so it kind of uh, you can kind of tell that they were gonna go that there was gonna be more of the game. Although it's kind of sad on the end, like all these characters that cared about Samanosuke, and then they kind of just you know it's like oh Princess went off on a journey, Yumaru went on a journey, Kaede dies like 14 years later. It's always sad when you hear those types of stories at the end of a game. You're like oh and she lived her life until she got killed. That happens in Fire Emblem a few times with characters endings. You're like oh that's kind of sad. Um, but uh, uh, Tony Daniels was for bro, huh? You know that sounds familiar. That voice actor sounds familiar. But but yeah, I, I I think the game's still pretty good after all the years. Not like you know ten out of ten, but I think it's still a good solid. I think it's a good solid like seven or eight out of ten. You know, you know, yeah. I thought the music was good. The story is short and sweet. Nothing too complicated. Just a man trying to save a princess. You know, and then gets caught with demons and stuff like that. Didn't have to, and didn't overstay at welcome. You know, like I said, three to six hours or more, depending on how much you pack it in. I always kind of wish there was a little bit more, but you know, that's the, that's the point of getting to the second or third game. It's like you wanted to play more and you wanted to keep going, so you're like, oh, you bought this game now. You know, get the next one when it comes out because you liked it. So um, I'm trying to think. Um, I do, I, I do, I do hate the fact that some areas got cut off after a while. So for for me, like wanting to get all the fluoride and miss that, or one of the magic jewels being completely missable if you don't save those two dudes with the bow. Like what if you missed the bow by accident or didn't even think about saving them? You know, I, uh, I mean, I guess it's, I guess that's what replaying the game is for to figure out like what you missed and how you can get it. Um, I'm trying to think what else to really say. Uh, uh. I thought this game was great. Um, I enjoyed it. It was a short ride. It took, you know, like, what, 14, 15 episodes or something like that, I think. I wasn't counting. I'm, I usually do a lot of these back-to-back. -back. I only did a two-break on this one. I did, like, a set of videos, and I did a second set of videos. And I'm done after that. But, uh, um, yeah. Dun dun dun! He's still alive, even though there's a second and third game after the fact. Yeah, I missed all the four. I mean, pandemonium. Ooh, we unlocked his outfit. Oh, we got an A. That's actually not bad. If you save the game, staff credits will be available. I wonder how you get a full S rank. Probably maybe beating it within so little time, or maybe not using as many medicines or herbs or something like that. Um, yeah, not bad at all. Um, and that saves the clear data or whatever but yeah pandemonium is when you unlock uh, oh we can even do the credits for the port um let me is that is, do i have to load it or do it can i new game it for that no okay so so if a new game and then we can do oh and then we can do special i think you have to hit all i think you have to get 20 fluoride to unlock um Kaede's outfit um yeah, I'll I'll show you the him in his outfit. Um, if you want to get 
Maybe you have to get maybe you have to get an S rank to get a. Um, you know, one of the few problems I have. Well, actually, let me see if I can skip it. Okay, I can skip that. That's good. You know, what I I guess I should talk about this before I end the episode. <laughs> there you go, dude. <laughs> uh, Samanovsky is a little in the panda and the like in his little pouches looks around and claps. I'll, I'll show you here in a second. Kaede, if you unlock her, she I think she is like a little a demon or, or or succubus or something like that. I think. But yeah, if you if you pay attention, you can see the like the little um, uh, bear on the front is like with his arms moving around, looking at you. Pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, you just play the whole game of Samanovsky in this little bear outfit. Um, let's see. Yeah, if, I think if you get all 24, right, maybe you unlock her outfit. Or if you get the game in S rank, because I think S rank unlocks some stuff as well, like ultimate. I think that's how you get uh, ultimate difficulty and stuff like that. Um, oh, yeah, here's one of the things I'm talking about. Like, I can't skip these scenes. You can skip the cut scenes at the beginning and maybe at the end, but these, you can't cut these. So if you want to replay through some parts, like if you want to just do it quickly... Um, you have to like go through these, which is kind of annoying. Um, Princess Yuki. Yeah, too bad you don't get really. Well, maybe if you get the gauntlet, maybe it's a bit different. Like, uh, um, because I could score a new game plus let you like keep your upgraded weapon or something like that after a point. Um, but yeah, now that you know what to do, you can go back through the game. Remember what the fight. Um. Four, uh, like where all the four it might have been, but yeah, I think it was in a. It's I think a the one the one I missed was somewhere in the, in the tower that got cut off after the demon, door got shown, and so yeah, the only problem with this outfit is you can tell it clips because it's not designed with his model in mind. It, it's just put on top of the model, um. So, um, I'm trying to think what else, um. And obviously replaying the game to try and beat the game in like under three hours or doing it without health, uh, without using health or without upgrading your weapons and stuff like that. Um, or being in ultimate mode. Obviously I'm not going to do that. Um, if you get 20 fluorides in the game, you actually unlock a mode called like Oni Paradise, which is a difficult mini game you can play. And if you beat it, if you beat o o Oni Spirits, you get a... Uh, you get um, um, infinite use of your ranged items like bows and gun uh, matchlock and stuff like that, which can make replaying through the game a lot easier because then you can just, you know, uh, hit everything from afar. Like the bow, get some extra damage there, and then run in. You know, I hardly use the bow and gun throughout the whole game. I like only used it in bits and pieces because uh, I didn't want to waste all my ammo, even though I had a bunch of it by the end. It didn't even use it in the final boss. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of funny just seeing him walking around with his panda outfit on. Um, God, what else to say? Uh, other than that, I, yeah, I like the game. Uh, story was short and sweet. Music was great. Leads it up. I think it uh, gives you just enough, so it's not one of those where it cheaps you with a, you know, uh, oh, you got to play the second game to finish the story, that type of thing. Like, I, yeah, it does leave some questions open, like certain characters and things, but I think it did a good job of just keeping it solid for the most part and then you get the option to and then you can play the other games later i don't know if they're ever i guess it depends if this sells well if we'll ever see a remaster of like two and three i'm surprised they just didn't do a remaster of all the games like because previous collections and on the ps3 or four or whatever they just put all the games together like in a collection like you know jack and daxter and all that they did that so why didn't capcom just do one two and three packaged together that's the only thing i don't get about this remaster is why didn't they just package those together Oh, <laughs> I forgot that the gauntlet turns into turns into something else. It just it just looks like a sunflower. Oh man, uh, weird Japanese humor, man. But that makes sense. I mean, they have to put it on the outfit somehow. The gauntlet would easily clip or work weird on that, so it makes sense that they would change it. But uh, it's one of those things that you don't think about until you actually see it. <laughs> just a sunflower, huh? Was it Sunflower from Conker's Bed for a day? No, that's it's not big enough for that. And save the princess. I mean, the only real problem with the game is it does have some it does have some cheesy voice acting in it. At least that Americanized version of it. Um, and see, we don't have the orb, so I can't. 
Right, you can't, uh... You can't enhance at this point, can you? No, I didn't think you could. Uh, so you don't get to keep any of your... Huh. I thought there was, like... I thought there was a New Game Plus version of this game, so... Oh, well. I guess I showed most everything off. I'll try to... I'll see if I can get, uh... Um... Not S mode, but see if I can get all the forward and maybe see if I can get Kaede's other outfit. If not, we, we'll call it there. Uh, but anyway, I would say um, as a remaster goes, it's okay. But if you never played, if you never played the uh, this game, I I would say just give it a run. I thought it was a solid action adventure game. Maybe not as good as like maybe your like Devil May Cries or anything like that. But I thought it was definitely a good effort on Capcom's part and a nice way to add a new franchise. I'm thinking maybe if this does well, maybe they'll consider bringing back. Um, oh, I, I uh, showed you Dead Strike on them. Um, but I guess we'll see. I haven't really heard much about people buying this, so I don't know if we'll see any more sequels to Onion Musha because it's been that long, and I don't know if the franchise could survive with, like, Devil May Cry 5 and games like that about. But anyway, thanks for watching me on this playthrough. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time when the mail comes in.